Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Congratulations, everyone. This is day eight of our 12 days fasting. We are now um, in the second half or second quarter. It's three, I guess, three quarters or three halves. So four more days to go and we are done. Congratulations, guys. So this is the 12 a.m. prayer line for day eight of our 12 days fasting for divine direction and financial breakthrough. To God be the glory. Only God can help us like this, to be consistent like this, to be hungry for Him, hungry for His message, His word that He has for us, to be prayerful, to be holy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless all of you. God is pleased with you. How is everybody feeling right now? Are you feeling strengthened? Well, you know you guys eat after six, so it's not like you're hungry or anything, right? <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys. There are some of you that have never done this before. This is your first time actually fasting this long. You know, some of you never skip breakfast. Some of you never skip lunch. You don't play with your breakfast or your lunch. But you've been doing that for eight days now. So congrats. You shall be rewarded. When we seek God diligently, he rewards us. Because God is a rewarder. God bless you. So I have a story that I want to... I want to read a story in the Bible and then we're going to pray some prayers tonight, some dangerous prayers tonight, some prayers that will change something. So if you don't know how to pray, get ready. You're going to be praying heavy prayers tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Make it all. Yeah, yeah. You shall love the Lord. That may get on. This is a song that the angels taught me in my sleep. That's the instrumental. Minister Philip did it for me. Ye shall love the Lord. That make it all. Hallelujah. I want to read um, the book of Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. Thank you, Jesus. Ye shall love the Lord. Ye dami. I'm going to start from verse um, 4. Acts chapter 8 from verse 4. I will read it in the NLT version, New Living Translation, so you can understand it. It says, But the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus everywhere they went. It says, The believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. Now the believers were scattered because of persecution. There was a lot of persecution going on. You know, after they had killed um, Stephen, they stoned him to death. And Saul was really, you know, trying to deal with um, believers, arrest them. So most of them were scattering going to other places that were safe for them right so now i say but the believers who were scattered preached the good news about jesus wherever they went 
So no matter where they found themselves, they were always preaching about Jesus, right? Philip, for example, went to the city of Samaria and he told the people there about the Messiah. Crowds listened intently to Philip because they were eager to hear his message and see the miraculous signs he did. So, so many people listened to Philip because they were eager to hear his message. So, even though there was persecution, you know, it was still an opportunity for them to go to other places to preach to people. So, all things work together for good, right? Uh huh. Because maybe if there was no persecution, then maybe they would not even go to other places to preach. So while the devil thinks he's destroying believers, he did not know he's just opening doors for them to go to other places, right? Uh huh. Like when they were persecuting me, they thought they were destroying me, but they did not know that it was giving opportunity to more people to get to hear my name. So God can turn everything around for our good, right? He said, many evil spirits were cast out. So Philip was casting out demons, right? And screaming as they were leaving their victims. He said, many evil spirits were cast out, screaming as they were leaving their victims. So the things that you guys see now where we do deliverance and you see demons shouting or people screaming, ah, leave me alone, ah, those kind of things. It's been happening since, not just now. Even in those days, as spirits were leaving people, they would scream and come out, meaning the people will scream and something will leave them, right? And it said, and many who had been paralyzed or lame were healed. So there was great joy in that city. So the place that Philip went to in the city of Samaria, so many people got healed. So many people got delivered. So a lot of people were happy, you know. A man named Simon, a man named Simon had been a sorcerer. He's been a sorcerer there for many years. Amazing the people of Samaria and claiming to be someone great. Who knows who's a sorcerer? What's another word for sorcerer? Or what do sorcerers do? Uh, who knows what a sorcerer or who a sorcerer is? I want to see if you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Who knows who a sorcerer is? A sorcerer. Um, mm -hmm. Mostly, you know how we call witches and wizard? This one, this man, we can call him a wizard. Basically. But it's called, they're calling it sorcerer here. But if you, if you read it in MSG, say previous to Philip's arrival... A certain, a certain Simon had practiced magic in the city, posing as a famous man and dazzling all the Samaritans with his wizardry. Wizardry. So the man is a wizard. King James Version said, But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one. So people were calling him, they were thinking he's claiming to be someone great, but he was actually using witchcraft on them and they didn't know. You understand? He said a man named Simon, who had been a sorcerer for many years, amazing the people of Samaria and claiming to be someone great. You know? So people were afraid of this man, seeing him as a powerful guy, you know, somebody great, not knowing his witchcraft is using. He's a wizard. You understand? Using some vo um, voodoo power to do things to amaze people. He said, everyone from the least, everyone from the least to the greatest often spoke of him as the great one, the power of God. Can you imagine? Kai. Hey. Let me read in King James. They said, to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. Can you imagine? Hey, Jesus. He was deceiving them. They were believing that he was, he was from God. Calling him the great one. They're calling him. <laughs> Try, God. 
They were calling him the power of God, the greatest wizard ever, the most powerful man in the, in the town. You know that there are some people like that in your village that everybody is afraid of. Man, does anyone know what I'm saying? Do you have that one uncle or that one auntie or that one person in your village that the whole town is afraid of saying this one is very powerful? Like this one person that is tormenting the whole town. This one person that is tormenting the whole family. People are afraid of him because they keep saying he's powerful. This guy is powerful. Some of you here, you know what I'm saying? Some of you have an uncle. Or an auntie since we started this fast so far someone has told me that somebody died in their family that they all know as a wizard you know some days ago and today again i just got one that somebody is confessing the person this one here eh? hmm they sent me a video today of a of an old man, a papa. <laughs> old man. <laughs> Naked confessing oh, that he's a wizard. <laughs> I can't even post that video because the man is naked. I know some of you want to see it. <laughs> Naked, I showed it to my mom. And I showed it to my workers. One of my followers in Germany sent me the video. This old man, naked, confessing that he's a wizard in Nigeria. That's the lady that bought me. I don't know if you guys were in the Germany program. When I told you guys I gave my black sandals to somebody in Italy because she said she... She, she wants God to tell, let me, lead me to give her my sandals. And I'm like, that's, all, that's the only sandals I got. So I gave it to her. And then this lady in Germany went to the store. Because I didn't have another sandals to wear. She bought me a black sandals. And I've been wearing the black sandals since I went to Germany. And I was just recently telling my girls that I need to buy more sandals. But for some reason, that sandals is so comfortable that I really love it. It is her son's father, her son's grandfather, her son's father's father that is confessing now. Apparently, the wizard was flying at night all the way from Nigeria <laughs> to Europe <laughs> and his body got trapped. <laughs> he was flying at night. <laughs> To go kill somebody or go do something. <laughs> she lives in Europe, right? They live in Europe. He was trying to go do some things in Europe and his body got stuck. <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> so he couldn't come back. <laughs> so the guy got exposed now. Now they are parading the guy all over. In Nigeria, the guy is confessing that he's a, he's a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> and this one happened, I think, today. Or was it yesterday night or today? You know, their time is different. So this man was doing astral travel. I be astral transportation. You know how they will be in Africa. They are traveling. I saw somebody's comment on here. Was it two days ago or yesterday when I was telling you guys about how witches, they don't have to follow you to where you are, right? They can just network. And somebody commented that in London... Somebody was watching TV and the person's mother came out of the TV and said, you think you can run away from me? <laughs> the person's mother is a witch. I don't know if you guys saw that comment on this video. <laughs> the person's mother came out from the TV or the person's father came out from the TV and said, oh, so you think you can run from me? <laughs> These people, they travel low. <laughs> <laughs> this person appeared, came out from the TV, threatening this child. So you think, say, you feel wrong from me. <laughs> so this man was flying, busy flying from Nigeria without any passport, without any visa, without any aeroplane. <laughs> Going to Europe <laughs> at night <laughs> to go do something. 
So his body got trapped. Bam. He couldn't come back. <laughs> oh my God. The man got stuck. I guess his visa expired there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. The video, eh? Old man, they naked him now. Parading him in town. So she sent me an audio. Let me see if I can play it. She sent me an audio. This was when I got off from the 6 o'clock one. She's actually listening now. Let me see the first audio she sent me. Um... Woman of God, good evening. Woman of God, good evening. Good evening. Oh, oh God, I thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh God is doing great things in my life. Woman oh, of God, I thank God I make this first day with you. I thank God that I make this first day with you. You know the person that I gave birth to, the father in Nigeria. I just went to Nigeria to bury my mother. And I'm doing the first day with you. The man is confessing in Nigeria. I took my son to him 2015 when I came back. My son could not talk. I don't know that these are the witches. He is confessing right now in Nigeria. I will send you the video. <laughs> these people, they survived me so much. Thank God I am God. I thank you for you answering my prayer. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Did you guys say that's the lady that got me the sandals? <coughs> she said the the person that her her son's grandfather is confessing. She said she took the son to Nigeria. She had some other audio she did later that she did. She took the son to Nigeria, and since she came back with that guy, that boy, he's been so sick. You know, they are even asking, what did she do to him in Nigeria? Not knowing that is this man. She took him to this man. Going to go see grandpa. Not knowing that grandpa is a wizard that is always flying from Nigeria to Europe. <laughs> but this time around, grandpa could not, could not succeed again. <laughs> and she said that from watching me, she got connected to Bishop. And God, um, Bishop prayed for her and he also gave her an assignment to do and she did it and then she also joined this fast and bishop was prophesying to her that there are a lot of wicked people in her in her son's father's family or something that she should wait and see things would god will do something so she joined the fast as well plus bishop's prayer only for today now she they sent her a video that the man is confessing that he was flying to Europe <laughs> and his body got trapped. <laughs> and now he has been caught. So they sent this video of this old man naked, but he's not speaking English. He's speaking a language. Um, Let me see. I think she said Agbo or something. Let's see. Like they have him somewhere and so many people are videoing and talking so but they are not speaking English they are speaking their language but somebody had sent her an audio about it somebody that was there let me play the person's audio My brother you see this uh, pastor you see this guy with the red? I say, he, 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 you know Ego now? Ego with the Jesus off, eh? Like Papa did this show, they say, confess in and win show. If life or night, he knows he come back. This <laughs> <laughs> made me laugh. They say, he confess it. He being witch. If life or night, he knows he come back. I beg. Let me play that part again. <laughs> My brother. You see this uh, pastor? You see this guy with the red? I say, he, 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 you know Ego now? Ego with the Jesus off, eh? Like Papa did this show, they say confess in and win show. If life or night, he never come back. <laughs> and the thing they rain for the 
My friends, they are nine cents for me. Oh. Anytime you see me, you, you get one guy with the, where are they find the number two. One, one fair guy, but I don't get that guy number. One fair guy, whether I have a guy too, will be two, to go new two. But I don't get six number, you know. They say, man, they say, go papa and win show. Say, they confess, you oh. In Nietzsche, though. Now, wow. Things that happen for this life, oh. <laughs> I'm looking at the video now. This man, eh? If you see this kind of grandpa in the village, you'll probably be feeling for him. You will want to give him money to help him or something. Not knowing that grandpa is a wizard. Not knowing that grandpa is a confirmed wizard that flies to other countries at night. Hmm. So this person was sending this audio to somebody. Now this lady, she's the one that watches me, that bought the sandals that I'm currently wearing at the programs for me. And then she, I asked her to explain a little more to me. And she was now explaining, also talking of how Bishop has prayed for her, you know, and told her that there are so many evil people, but she should watch and see God is going to deal with them and blah, 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 and everything. And how her son, people, you know, her son is always sick. She has really suffered. And even this man's son, this man's son, the man that is confessing now, the one she had the child with, that one too is struggling, you know, like struggling, like just struggling, not knowing that all these things is because of this witch, this wizard. Like she said, no, you know, you don't like, you know how sometimes you want to take your, your child home to go see grandparents. Only for you to come back with your your child, not knowing that that child, that grandparent have robbed something on them. Let me see if I can play some of the audios. Because when she come down later, later I told her to make, to explain some things to me. Let me see if I can play this one. Okay. Woman of God, good morning, man. I just want to say, thank God, thank you for everything. You know, you you came to. I was praying when I when I knew you. I was really praying for you to come to Europe, and you did. You came to Germany, and you prayed for me and my son. Actually, my son is all the time sick. I went to Nigeria two thousand and fifteen, two thousand and fifteen to two thousand two thousand and seventeen. My son was really sick. Seriously sick. Till I met you, you prayed for, for him. Everything was getting better day by day, day by day, day by day. And I through you, I, I got to know Bishop. And Bishop was also praying for me. I even told Bishop about um, my son. And he said uh, he, his attack from uh, the wicked one. That is uh, the, my, my son. The, my son family is and i even um um yesterday i called the bishop he prayed he prayed for me senior keep quiet he prayed for me and <laughs> he prayed for me he said i shouldn't worry that everything will be okay i just came back from nigeria it's not even up to a week i think one week and some days to uh, for my mother's barrier and uh, Somebody is confessing. He came to Europe and to attack as usual, and his body cannot come back. The body is hanging in Europe. <laughs> this, this thing is so funny. The man is confessing that he came to Europe to attack as usual, all the way from Nigeria in one village. But the body is trapped. It cannot come back. The body cannot come back to Nigeria. <laughs> Confessing there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jesus. Mm -hmm. They are shouting, laughing at him. He's speaking. That is Agbo. God forbid. He's an Agbo man. I don't know. But I just thank God for everything. I just thank God for everything. You can call Bishop. <laughs> you, you will see what he will tell you. Woman of God, I saw... Um, my baby's uh, father, even one of the bro uh, brother, is going ma mad in, in Europe. So the he said the baby's father, that means the boy, the our son's father, is the, is his father that is confessing now. And she's saying 
her son's father's brother is going mad in Europe. All thanks to this man that is always coming at night all the way from Nigeria to Europe to, this, to, to deal with his children and their grandchildren, right? He's going mad and we don't know what was wrong with him. Yeah. We don't even know that this man was, um, see now, this man was all the, the, the one doing all his son to be useless. And she said this man was the one making all his sons to be useless. Can you see these wizards, witches and wizards dealing with their own children? Not even that. My son, you know, my son matters to me a lot. He's the only one that I have. I'm even going to 40. Next, next two months, I will be 40 years. The only son that I have, I have my son at my old age, and uh, they wanted to kill him. Woman of God, you will not understand the way my son, my son, my son was talking when I, I took him to Nigeria, 2015. When I came back, he could not talk again. They, they, the doctor said, ah, they were asking me in uh, in Europe, what, what did I do to my son? What did I use him to do in Africa? I said, I don't know. I just came back. I, he could not. They found water uh, in his ear. They said her son was talking before she took him to Nigeria in 2015. Only for her to come back from Nigeria, the son stopped talking. He can't talk anymore. Can you imagine? They even found water in his ear. They are asking now, what did you do to the boy in Nigeria? Not knowing is this same man now that is confessing. He put, it's not my father. My father is late. It's not my father. I was asking her at some point whether the guy was her father. She said, no, that's not her father. Her father is late. Uh, um, my baby's father's father. The man I have my child for is father. Not my father. I lost my father 30 years ago when I was 10 years. I just lost my mother two months ago. So I don't have a mother, either father. I I went to Nigeria. I think I, I sent you the message. I went to Nigeria to to um, do my mother's burial. I just came back. It's not quite long. I don't have father. I don't have mother. It's not my father. It's my baby's father, father. The man I gave birth to is father. Even the man I gave birth to, um, that is my baby's uh, father, the, the, the man, the, the Stanley, even his, his life is not good in Europe. He's living a very bad life. Very, very terrible, terrible, terrible life. But I just thank God for... He said even her baby daddy, the boy's father, is living a very terrible life in Europe. Not knowing is this man that keeps flying. His father keeps flying, flying to Europe every night <laughs> on assignment joining you in your prayers and i asked uh, i asked the media to be the record uh, she started speaking pidgin english if anyone understand this part move um, um if they get more videos of the confession maybe they send it to me because the person when he sent send i just tell me say um, yesterday send it to a friend of mine a friend of me tell me say my father-in-law did that uh, he say um my ex-man the father the confess so say he come europe but you know if you come back with him now say confess her i manage in <laughs> bishop the tell me say before bishop the tell me say because don't worry as you as you as you raise an altar which i did with daddy bishop which he prayed for me and after that i said well I, he said i should not worry i should i should just watch what god will do for me i think say okay no problem so she with also bishop praying for her to you know he was telling her to raise an altar because he, he was telling her where the problem was coming from and she raised an altar um i don't know the specification of what she did but i know my bishop you know when he gives you assignment you do it if you believe i'm sure god will fight for you and then she joined this fasting she just came from nigeria about a week ago from burying her mother now you could hear somebody talking in the background that's her son that is not talking the boy that was talking before she took him to nigeria only to bring him back and he's not been talking for how many years now and people are wondering what's happened not knowing is this flying man this flying old man messing up his son's life his children's life in europe so you know sometimes people travel out of out of 
country thinking they are going to do well, not knowing that their life will be miserable in that country, only to find out that it's their, it's their father or their mother that is responsible. Now, if this man was not naked, I would have posted that video, but the guy is like naked totally, not wearing any clothes. And his thing is showing, you know, I don't want Facebook to cancel my 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 page because of his nakedness so <laughs> i guess you won't see it and they are not speaking english so you will not understand what the man is saying but now that he has been exposed that's one that's one down only god know how many more remaining so now that's what inspired this message so by the time i finish reading this scripture we're gonna pray some wicked prayer eh? who will send fire I also believe that that generational cause prayer that we did a few days ago also helped with this thing. Because prayer, eh? keep praying and believing. One day, one of the prayer will enter. Pam, plus whatever she did with Bishop and Bishop's prayer, this man may have been one wicked or one mature wizard that did not think that anything can happen to him. Only for him to be trapped. His body tr got trapped in Europe. I don't think he saw that coming. They say it was the usual thing of him flying to Europe and coming back. <laughs> so if you have anyone in your family that has been flying at night eh, to destroy you or your family members, today we will pray and they will be destroyed. But before then, let me read this story. So he said, a man named Simon had been a sorcerer there for many years, amazing the people of Samaria and claiming to be someone great. Everyone from the least to the greatest often spoke of him as the great one, the power of God. They listened closely to him because for a long time he had outstanded them with his magic. They listened to him. They took, they, they, they paid attention to this wizard. They say for a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. He had bewitched them. That's what King James Version said. King James said, and to him they had regard. They respected him. They had regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. That's all they know then. That's the power they saw. Right? Now, he obviously says, Simon amazed the people with his magic for so long that the people became his followers. So he even had followers. <laughs> Before Philip came into town with the Holy Spirit. Right? So he said, but now the people believed Philip's message. The people, listen to this message, guys. The people believed Philip's message of good news concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. As a result, many men and women were baptized. So these people in Samaria, this small city in Samaria, right? This wizard has been deceiving them with some magic. They were believing, following him until Philip came, started preaching about Jesus, and a lot of people believe and got baptized, right? Repented. Then Simon himself believed and was baptized. Simon himself believed and was baptized. Meaning the wizard to believe. And he too was baptized. The one they call the great one. <laughs> himself said, okay, I believe. <laughs> Baptize me too, I believe. <laughs> he began following Philip wherever he went. And he was amazed by the signs and great miracles P Philip performed. How many of you believe that this guy really believe? <laughs> you know, witches and wizards, you got to be careful, though. <laughs> you cannot always believe them or because sometimes they shall be deceived people. <laughs> he followed Philip wherever he went. And he was amazed by the signs and great miracles Philip performed. Right? Uh -huh. when, the Philip, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that the people of Samaria had accepted God's message, they sent Peter and John there. So they had to send Peter and John to go help 
Philip over there, right? As soon as they arrived, they prayed for these new believers to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit had not yet come upon any of them, for they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So when these two people, Philip and John, uh, Peter and John came, they prayed so that they will be filled with the Holy Ghost, right? So they received the Holy Ghost. When Simon, the wizard pretending to have repented, I guess, when Simon saw that the Spirit was given when the apostles laid their hands on people, he offered them money to buy this power. Is this not a guy that they say believe and was baptized? Look at the guy offering money for the power. What does he want to use the power for? He said, let me have this power too, he exclaimed, so that when I lay my hands on people, they will receive the Holy Spirit. So, he was offering them money. How much do you want to sell this power to me? I need it. <laughs> Please, let me ask you guys, does this guy look like someone that has repented to you? <laughs> This wizard, this grandfather of wizard, does it sound like somebody that has repented? Someone that is offering money. Say, give me this power. How much are you selling this power? I want to buy it. <laughs> I want to buy this power. <laughs> Which is a wizard there. Eh? I'm not saying some of them have not repented. Maybe one or two or three, but it is hard though. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is not easy for them to repent. I'm telling you, it is not easy for them to repent. It is not easy for them to repent. That's that scripture, Exodus 22, 18. It said, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Somebody Put that. Exodus twenty two eighteen, Because sometimes you don't really know when these people are pretending. You know? Even you, that your auntie, that they told you the witch, she will come and do like she has changed. You go there, start eating her food that night. She don't kill you, finish. <laughs> they know how to pretend just like demons pretend. When I'm casting out demons. They are laughing. The next thing they are crying. Oh, please, please, don't, don't do this, please. And then you are like, eh, why are you crying? Uh -huh. And they'll say, hey, 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 I'm just trying to fool you. <laughs> he said, how much do you want to sell this power? Let me have this power too. He has claimed so that when I lay my hands on people, they will receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter replied, May your money be destroyed with you for thinking God's gift can be bought. I like the King James Version. Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee because thou hast thought that thy gift, the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thy money perish with him. See, this guy was deceiving them. This guy was known as the great one and suddenly another power that is higher than him came. So he wanted to pretend to see how he can get his power to add to his own power. You don't know? So that now he will still be considered the most powerful. So he wanted all the power for himself. He knew what he was doing. He was never, he had never repented. He was all repentant. He says, May your money be destroyed with you for thinking God's gifts can be bought. He just cursed him. He cursed him right there. He said, you can have no part in this. For your heart is not right with God. He said, you can have no part with this. In this. For your heart is not right with God. If you read other translation. But Peter answered him. May you and your money go to hell. For thinking that you can buy God's gift with money. You have no part or share in our work. 
because your heart is not right in God's sight. Meaning this guy has not repented. He told him, he said, repent. Repent of your wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive your evil thoughts. For I can see that you are full of bitter jealousy and are held captive by sin. So this guy has not even repented. So with witches and wizards, my dear, you don't know if they are telling you the truth or not. Eh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because they know how to pretend. It says, for I can see that you are full of bitter jealousy and you are held captive by sin. This guy, that when I was doing Blessing Jackson, they said, Deliverance. They say there is the Regina. Regina says she cannot repent because she has passed the level of repenting. There is a level um uh there's a level of this thing. Um there's a level of um hold on. Let me see. There's a level that they get in their witch witchcraft place that they can't repent once they pass a certain level i don't know if you guys remember that deliverance right the small small witches that they're just entering those ones they can still repent but when the ones that have killed like how many people 500 plus people that have entered what level what what was the number again i don't even remember that was a long time ago right that those people it's a little hard for them to when they pass that rank that level this guy has held a whole city or a whole town down. This guy was not a small wizard. This man we're talking about. Just like any wizard that you hear that can fly to Europe at night steadily. This one has entered another grade. Eh? Because for them to be able to fly like that, like go to another country, they have to acquire powers and they have to have killed many people or done many things. The more they kill, the more they do things, the more they promote them. So for them to have some kind of uh, promotion, they must have killed a lot of people or put a lot of people in cage. So this man that was confessing that in this town, I can tell you that this man is a grandmaster. <laughs> that papa, <laughs> that papa is not an ordinary witch, a uh, wizard, such as this guy, Simon too. That can have a whole town believing in him. Calling him the great one. So he, this one. His own repentance. Hmm. There was no way until. The apostle had to even. Peter had to curse him. He said may your money be destroyed with you. For thinking God's gifts can be bought. You can have no part in this. For your heart is not right with God. The guy has been in this thing too deep. Too too deep. He said, repent of your wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive your evil thoughts. For I can see that you are full of bitter jealousy and are held captive by sin. Pray to the Lord for me. Simon has claimed that these terrible things that you have said would not happen to me. He said, please pray. That all these curses that you put on me will not happen to me. TPT says, Simon beg Peter, please pray to God for me. Plead with him so that nothing you just said over me may come to pass. Of course it will come to pass. He said, you will die. You will go to hell with your money. You try to pretend and act like you have repented. But you can't fool us. So you and your money will perish. <laughs> How many of you are ready to pray? <laughs> Which is there? Eh? They can manipulate. They can pretend. Some of you have them in your family. Like this lady, she did not know now that this man was a wizard. He said she took her son home, came back, her son could not talk again. A boy that was talking, 
suddenly cannot talk again. Even on the audio she was doing, you could hear somebody in the background. That's the son. She said she's almost 40, you know, almost 40. And that's the only child she has, you know. They wanted to destroy her son. Can you imagine? Aha. 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 So if you are ready to pray, it's time to send fire. <laughs> fire. Because maybe some of them are flying at night too. Eh? Some of them are probably coming to where you are at night. <laughs> Without visa, <laughs> without first class or business class ticket. <laughs> Some of them are probably there with you. Maybe you brought them home. You brought them to come and visit you in Europe or in America or wherever you are. Thinking that you have your, your family, you know, visiting, not knowing that you have witch, a big wizard. Some of them are probably the ones you send money home all the time. But anytime you send money home, man, you get broker and broker and broker and broker and broker. Some of them have messed with your dreams. You can't dream anymore. Some of them, they've manipulated your dreams. Even when you dream, you don't see them. You see other people. They can do these things, you know. They will make you fight against the ones that are good. Those are the ones you will be seeing in your dream. But they are the evil ones, but you will never see them. They will even give you memory loss, so you don't remember things. <laughs> memory loss. Some of you, you can't remember things too much. They've put some memory loss there. You are forgetting things. Put so many things. You go home. They give you something. You're thinking they, they made you something. A gift. Not knowing that gift they gave you. It's money printing. You are in the house. The gift. is it, Maybe they gave you a clock or something. You put it there. Not knowing it's what they are using to monitor you. It's what they are using to look at you every day. You took your children home. Came back. Your children that didn't have problems before now have problems. You sent your kids' clothes home only for, since you sent clothes for your children home, your children have been sick. You send your own clothes. Like so many things happening, man. You can't keep a job. You can't get married. Every time animals are chasing you in your dreams, you close your eye, dog is chasing you. Cat is chasing you. Animals chasing you. They are always asking you for money. And you don't have money. You are struggling. You are out of country. You travel far. But you are struggling. They are all depending on you. All of them want to, to milk you dry. You don't even have anything for yourself. <laughs> that witch must die. That wizard. That witch and wizard must die. Everybody type that in. That witch and wizard must die. Because at this point, we can't even trust that they are repenting for real. <laughs> so that witch and wizard must die. Are you typing it? I say that witch and wizard must die. That evil uncle, evil auntie, papa, mama, Sister, brother, friend, family member that is flying at night, that, that is tormenting you at night, they must die. Holy Ghost fire. Hey, Rekadabashkondo Rabasuta Yakraha. Ndaya Kashkonda. Wherever you are, I want you to get up now. We are going to send fire. 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 Wherever they are meeting her, wherever they are coving is her, wherever they are, they are monitoring you, whether they are there with you or they are back home, wherever they are, 
We are sending fire, fire balls, Holy Ghost fire. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Rakatosa paria tashkoto, igaranda re kosonto barianda. Holy Ghost fire on that witch, Holy Ghost fire on that wizard. I don't care who it is, wherever you are, fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. You need to pray. <laughs> it's you that is suffering. I'm helping you. <laughs> I say fire. Whether you are my father, you are my mother, you are my sister, my brother, but you are a witch, you are a wizard trying to kill me. I say fire. I say fire. 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 Confess and die. Confess and die. Confess and die. You witch, you wizard, flying at night, monitoring me, holding my destiny, destroying my life, holding my children destiny making my son not to talk making my daughter not to talk holding my papers holding my job fire on you fire fire holy ghost fire you guys begin to walk around your house and pray raseke lebo soto hiranda dikashketa brenda koskunda renda baro soka haka yeko daya fire i say fire i say fire use fire to sweep through your house you Use fire to send in your village, uh, your house in your village, uh, your business, uh, wherever you are. Send fire. I say fire, 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 fire. Confess and die. I say confess and die. Wherever you are, begin to confess. Uh, if you are in your meeting, uh, fire in your covenant, fire in that covenant, fire scatter that place. Uh, all of them begin to confess uh, in the name of Jesus. Wherever they put your property. Property, your money, your gifts, uh, your destiny, fire in that place, uh, fire, 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 begin to send angels uh, to take what belongs to you back, uh, to remove your destiny from there, to restore your destiny, to get back your money, to get back your clothes, uh, your children's clothes, uh, your things that belong to you, fire in that place, uh, fire in your house back home, uh, fire in your house here, fire at your job, uh, anywhere there are witches, uh, they are wizards uh, tormenting you, oppressing you. Fire on them uh, in the name of Jesus. I say confess and die in the name of Jesus. Be it whoever, be it whoever, be it whoever. I don't care anymore. I must be free today. Fire, 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 fire. Die by fire. Now begin to speak in tongues for the next five minutes. I kasoto robos rakalenda ruba kaskata rasi breda dos kotonda la handia rande posoto ire santa ya konda rakasko pali kasonta repanda yosoto ragidas koto barada ha rekandus kapali hende rosantina basota rikata begin to speak in tongues. Receive new tongues. Tongues of fire. Tongues of fire, tongues of fire, tongues of fire, tongues of fire, tongues of fire. Randa basoto, rakati koskata, rende paskele bosoto, rega de 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 Baruko to Razigada Rakani koto radi parada soto negele ba shoto ragi kaka handa randa kuska palaka tu seketele ronda kashke paroto radada rakas koto ibreka di koshkata negele bo shata ikate konda yakanda rokasi kele pasu kataya pray like you have never prayed before think about your life uh. think of what they have done to you uh. pray with anger ropa diakashkata ibranda le krete boskita you 
need to get up and pray. This is not time for you to be lazy in around. This is your destiny we are talking about. This is your children's destiny we are talking about. I say fire, fire, fire. Rock on the party, koskete. Reti la hashka porati aha. Nagoda gido bosa. I see angels. I see angels. Throwing fire, throwing fire, throwing fire, throwing fire, fire, fire. Wherever they are, you will begin to hear confessions. You will begin to hear confessions. You will begin to get phone calls. You will begin to get phone calls. That evil uncle, that evil auntie, that evil mother, that evil father, evil sister, evil brother, evil co worker, evil business partner, evil friend. They will begin to confess. Fire in the name of Jesus. Do not get tired though. Pray because some, some place is now which is a having meeting by this time. So we were having our own Holy Ghost meeting. Pray. Enough is enough. I say enough is enough. Are you not tired of your situation? Are you not tired of suffering? You traveled from Africa, but you are suffering even more than when you were in Africa. But they all depend on you. But you are there begging and suffering, not knowing that some witch or wizard uh, is flying at night, uh, coming to torment you. I say fire, fire. He can say break a dosa, rakunta raskete, ruse pranda luska handia, rakondo ruka sipraha, rache. Kelebos, I brada brada ba 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 ba. Eko toro da da di da da bas, ora di da 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 das. Ro di da bas, lebos. Every family member or friend uh, that is pretending to love me, uh, that is pretending to love you, but is the cause of your problem. I say fire. I say fire. I say fire. They will confess and die. They will confess and die. Your destinies must be restored tonight. Uh, everything they stole from you, uh, I command total restoration. Begin to receive it back uh, in the name of Jesus. This time of the night, this is the best time to pray this kind of prayers. Because some of you, is this time of the night that you can't sleep. It is this time of the night that they come tormenting you at night. Huh? But now you are praying instead of sleeping. You are praying instead of staying up and wondering what is happening. So send more fire to them. Huh? 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 In the name of Jesus. Now we're going to do something. Everybody in your house. Some of you is night time. Some of you is daytime. I don't care how loud you are. I want you to stand somewhere, maybe in the middle of your living room or somewhere in the middle of your room where you are. And you will shout Holy Ghost fire 12 times. Holy Ghost fire. You will shout with everything inside of you. You will shout Holy Ghost fire 12 times. One, two, three, go. Everybody. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire holy ghost fire now begin to speak in tongues he can say tell about sota naka norobo shandia kata reggae diga da sota that spirit of fear is leaving you they put spirit of fear in you so you don't pray well so you are afraid to pray that spirit of fear has left you now i hear this so clearly you are free from that evil spirit begin to open your mouth and pray some of you even after shouting holy ghost fire you found yourself on the floor because something jumped out of you rapoto rosota ibrenda kaskika brahanda nakoska tanda la bronde sikaro kota rikente lebo santa raka dibrase kola diaha nakonde lebo santa nare koska dira damas raga de 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 somebody you are vomiting things are coming out of you god is setting his children free ronda boskite la broha rikata yakata i hear somebody you are manifesting some voices speaking through you saying we are living we are living we are living come out of them you demon every spirit of witchcraft i come
command you to come out of them. Out of them in the name of Jesus. Out of them in the name of Jesus. You monitoring spirit out in the name of Jesus. You spirit of witchcraft. Whether you are a witch or wizard. I don't care. You spirit of old man, old woman. Spirit of ancestors. Out in the name of Jesus. I free every one of you. From every witchcraft bondage. Witchcraft oppression. Witchcraft manipulation. Witchcraft attacks. In the name of Jesus. And I command all your destinies to be restored. It is done. In Jesus name. Amen. Oh my God. Tell us how you're feeling everybody. Tell us how you're feeling. I saw somebody vomiting. I saw, I saw somebody they're manifesting, saying we are leaving, we are leaving. I saw somebody fall down right when we were shouting the Holy Ghost fire. Ah. Somebody, I saw the spirit of fear leaving you because lately you are afraid to pray. It's like there's somebody watching you in your house. You, you are always afraid to pray. It was what they did to you so you don't pray. But now you are no longer afraid. You feel free because that demon has left. It was the witch that sent it to you so that you will not be able to pray those fire prayers anymore. Just tell us how you feel, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, ye katabara, siende bosuda, ibrada badosi kalada diga konda, hashkika barasa, telebo shadiaha, rega da 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 du sa tite te da ya da da. Rogodosh kandi brade kash kadohos kadiera baba skien de le boshkanda anda kaskuta bahaske tele boshkada iya ya 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 hey some of you will feel so light <laughs> don't worry we will get more confessions <laughs> we are not giving them time to pretend like this guy Simon here trying to get more powers no confess and die that's right. They shall not leave. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. I am free. 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 Oh, my God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My God. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine? You are working hard. And one witch. One wizard. Busy tormenting you. No longer. No longer will they torment you. Because you are free. You are free. Your children are free. Your husband is free. Your wife is free. You are free. Hey. Hallelujah. Some of you will just have this boldness that came over you. There was this fear that was over you before. You couldn't pray. You couldn't do anything. They were just putting that in you so that you will not pray so they can attack more. But it's like something just left you. Something left you. And now you are free. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory, glory, aha, aha, somebody said she was hearing, she said, I started hearing, they have left, they have left, you are free, praise God, you see, I told you, I told you somebody, they say, we are leaving, we are leaving, she said she was hearing, they have left, they have left, you are free, you are free, hallelujah, I told you, harabas, ketelebos, yabash, they did not see this coming. <laughs> they did not know this will happen. Uh, there are witches and wizards everywhere. But everyone tormenting you. That one is dead. They are dying. Bam. <laughs> you see why? You should join these things when we put them. Especially knowing the kind of family you come from. Knowing the kind of family you come from. Hey. Thank you Jesus. Just wave your hands. Wherever you are, and just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. I know how some of you are feeling. You're feeling light. You're feeling light. You're feeling like you, you, you feel it in you that something has changed. You feel it in you that something has happened. You feel it in you that somebody will confess. You just feel it. You feel it in you that you will get that job. You feel it inside of you that something great is about to happen. You just have this feeling. You have this joy, this joyful feeling. There's this joy that came over you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 If you missed the prayer, you can always go back and play it again. It was powerful. When you, when you are praying with an anointed person, the person, the anointing that God has put upon the life of the person is really in, it, it, it's working. So when you're praying, the anointing is there to help. So these prayers that you pray when you are on here is not ordinary. I saw angels throwing fireballs. I saw them throwing. I saw them throwing. So even though right now you would think that nothing happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you would think nothing happened. But when you start having testimony there. <laughs> somebody said, I wasn't feeling my unborn baby. But after the prayer, I am feeling it now. Wow. I have been having miscarriages after this prayer, no more miscarriages. You will never miscarry again in the name of Jesus. This is for you, patience. No more miscarriages. Wow. <laughs> wow. Somebody say, I saw an angel with a sword in his hand cutting their neck. Hey, hey. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. My God. Wow. Powerful. Chopping off their head. Chop it off. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said, I feel something has happened. I feel it very strong. Me too. I feel it too. We all have witches, one or two witch in the family. We have some that we know. We have some that we don't know yet. But all of them confess and die. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you will sleep well. Some of you will have an encounter while you go to sleep. You will actually see things. You go reveal things to you. You will even see. Some of you may even. I'm hearing that some of you may have. You will hear confession in your dream. Confession. Because some of these witches will die without saying anything. But in your dream you will hear the confession. They will confess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. I'm here waving my hand. <laughs> I'm waving my hand here. <laughs> like it's a video. <laughs> God bless all of you. So this is the 12 midnight prayer session for day 8 of our 12 days um, fasting. Next time we come, it will be the 6 a.m. prayer line, which is like 5 hours from now. God loves you guys. Keep doing this. Keep this fire burning, knowing that the evil people are never stopping. They keep going. If the evil people keep going, why can't we believers keep going? You know, Jesus says men ought always to pray and not to faint. Meaning we should always pray and not get tired, not give up. Because these people, they meet every day. These evil people, they do their meeting every day to destroy, planning to destroy people. You understand? So we, we need to do our meeting all the time and pray, meet with Jesus, meet with Holy Spirit, pray all the time. Because arrows are everywhere. They are always shooting arrows. Don't slack. Don't slack. Don't faint. Don't give up. Don't get tired. Let prayer be a lifestyle for you. Pray always. God bless you. I'm going to let you guys go now. I'll see you again at 6. Love you guys. Bye-bye.